running backs okay. who can not only run between the tackles, but catch passes out of the backfield, who you can line up in the slot and on the outside and have a nose for the end zone, those guys are among the MVP candidates in football right now, the way the game has evolved. With the 48th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Steeler Nation select Le'Veon Bell. How does it feel to hear Pittsburgh Steelers running back? Um, it's an honor. You know, um, growing up, actually, my family um, grew up hardcore Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Right? Really? So, yeah. So, um, the once I got drafted there, um, I was already excited wherever I was going to go. But um, they, my family, just got ecstatic. Smith and Jordan, right? That's a better example. Look out! If I had to choose any back right now that I want to have today based off of what they've done thus far this year, I want that guy right there, Le Le'Veon Bell. We have a Hall of Fame quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger. Antonio Brown is just about as good as anyone who ever did it, and so is Le'Veon Bell. That's what makes them special, and I've been thinking maybe that could be the greatest offense of all time. here above all is Le'Veon Bell 38 carries a Steeler record 236 yards and three touchdowns to go with another 62 in the passing game on four catches for Phil and Tracy Jim Nance saying so on from Buffalo let's go to JB in New York Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in the NFL all around. It's not close, it's not a debate. It's nothing we probably even need to talk about here because if anybody disagrees with you, then they don't know football. Le'Veon Bell is not only uh, the best running back in the world, but he is also an elite pass catcher. He is uh, one of the all-time great all-around backs. The distance he put between himself and the rest of the league when on the field in, let's say, three of the last four seasons is historic. When you hear Mike Tomlin, the coach, the great coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, come out and say, quote, we want volunteers, not hostages. Mm. That is a very profound statement. You can look at the way the team has performed without Le'Veon Bell and go, you know what, as great as he is, they got a guy that they're super jazzed about in Connor. Do I think James Connor is a better fit for these Steelers? 
I do.